Hello, my name is Gremotan Sikafarin, and let me talk about the super ego of the state. The super ego of the state is one that I consider the um, status quo. It is concerned with holding things by what it is. The super, super ego of the state is extreme conservative, extreme tribalistic, and ruthless. The super ego of the state of the United States, for example, did attack all people who were Chinese and Japanese immigrants many times. The super ego of the state of the United States did harass and imprison people for believing different. People like people of color. The super ego did to protect Nixon, how did create racist laws that he actually self admitted, Jim Crow laws. The super ego of the United States harass environmentalists, socialists, and social philosophers. The super ego of the states is anti progression. It is against animal liberation and it is against economical sabotage of unjust industries. The animal agriculture is not legal in my book. It is legal in the book of the state of the United States and many other countries. If you ask me if I was the ultimate judge here, animal agriculture will be annihilated. Those people will be arrested and put in prison for commits of war, of war crimes and environmental destruction. The warnings were there already. They only needed to pay attention to the science. For more than 40 years, Paul Watson was a warning humanity. For many years, Stephen ba Steve Bass was warning humanity. Scientists were warning for decades. But did the economy and their masters all listen? And did it become better for the people? Actually, when they don't listen and actually only focus on the economy? Don't be so blind with patriotism that you don't can face reality wrong is wrong if it is illegal to abuse dogs and cats if people get arrested for abusing dogs and cats how can it be illegal to free pigs from smithfield's concentration camps where is the consistency in this logic Law should be justice, not corporate, elitist, arbitrary. I, by this, challenge all lawyers on the world to debate me, all judges on the world, with one promise. Don't bring your law with you. This debate will be pure, basic, only on logic, consistency, and ethics. No filthy tricks. By this I take my right article 19, 10, and 18 of the human rights. This gave me the right to actually Hold the government accountable. I ask for an error, an honest, rational discussion with all justices and all justice system. And if there are rules to debate, they will have to admit that I am justice. But if they can defeat me in inconsistent 
debate, then I will be not that arrogant anymore to say that all justice systems on the world are less moral than the morality that I have in my finger. And if that sounds arrogant, then I say you, don't confuse confidence with arrogance. Because I'm right. There is no excuse against the veganism. No one that is based on morality, decency, or economical status. Again, the only reason that the animal agriculture in large of the parts of the West is even sustainable is because of subsidies. It is time that we going to step into reality. It is time that we going to change to a vegan world. Because injustice anywhere is a trust to justice everywhere.